His fastball touches 90 miles an hour. He has filthy breaking stuff, and he throws from two different arm angles. Most hitters do not enjoy facing R.J. Reynolds senior Logan Welch, but he's not taking anything for granted. I mean, you still have to pitch. It's baseball. Uh, I mean, you still have to come every day. If you don't come to play, then you can still pick up a loss. Each time Logan is scheduled to pitch or penciled into the Demons' batting order, it's his father's call. Doug Welch, a former pro ball player himself, isn't just RJR's head coach. He's been Logan's coach essentially his entire baseball career. There's nothing like coaching your own kid. He's a screamer. <laughs> he likes to yell, but I mean it. It helps. All of that is about to change, though. Back in November, Logan signed to pitch at the University of North Carolina next school year. That means for the first time in a long time, his dad will not be one of his coaches. I guess it'll probably be weird getting used to, but I mean, you gotta get used to it. I'm really, really proud of what he's done and looking forward to it. Um, but again, it's you know you always want to coach, and if you've been around him for uh, forever. Uh, you always say, oh, I think he can tweak this. I think, well, I'm not coaching there anymore. It's, it's all up to him. And if you know a local high school student who's beating the odds, overcoming adversity, or has a unique human interest story, nominate them to be the next Flow Athlete of the Week. Send your emails to sports at WXI12.com, or you can reach out to me on social media. Despite his own playing and recent coaching background, Doug Welch says he does not want to step on any coach's feet at North Carolina, just like he doesn't want any RJR parents coaching their kids from the stands while he's in charge. Logan says if he does not go on to play professional baseball, he would like to be a scout.